Hi students, now we are going to explain one of the thermodynamic processes namely isochoric process. So already we have studied isobaric process. Similar process is isochoric. So it is also a thermodynamic process only in which the volume of the gas is constant. That is Isochoric process is a thermodynamic process which occurs at constant volume while the other thermodynamic variables namely the temperature, pressure and the internal energy they will be changing. Understand? They will be varying. So only the volume is kept a constant. So what is the best example? So if you heat a system or if you supply heat to a system whose chamber or the vessel volume is always uh, kept closed or if you cook a food in a closed container these are the best examples so we have written heat given to a system with fixed walls and cooking of food in a closed vessel these are all good examples for isochoric process okay children now we have studied equation of state for every thermodynamic process which relates the pressure volume and temperature of a system so let us begin with the equation of a state so what is uh, the equation of a state corresponding to an isochoric process? So I will take the general expression PB is equal to mu R into T. So this is the ideal gas equation for mu moles. And here V, the volume is kept constant. So I can write uh, this equation as what uh, P is equal to mu R divided by V into t r this uh, bracket quantity mu is constant r is constant now if volume v also is constant means uh, p is equal to the uh, constant times uh, the temperature r i can write uh, p is uh, proportional to t so the pressure is uh, proportional to t so in thermodynamics uh, this law is also called as Gay-Lussac law. Okay, Gay-Lussac law or Gay-Lussac's law. So the pressure of the gas is directly proportional to the absolute temperature by keeping the volume as constant. So we can also write the same expression like this: P initial divided by T initial is equal to P final divided by T final, and that is equal to a constant okay now next uh, we are going to derive an expression for the work done the work done by the gas so the expression for the work done in any thermodynamic process we have already studied uh, that uh, the work done by the system is given by the general expression is it not uh, the general expression is what uh, w is equal to integral of p into dv understand uh, so in this process, uh, this is integral of P into, now change in volume dV, understand, P into, this is what uh, V final minus V initial, is it not? V final minus V initial. But here since the volume is kept constant, uh, V final is also equal to V initial, therefore it is 0, is it not? So this is equal to P into 0, R the work done by the system W is equal to 0. So this is the expression for the work done. Okay. So now we write the first law of thermodynamics. Okay. The first law of thermodynamics applicable to an isochoric process. So in general we write the expression for the first law of thermodynamics. The quantity of heat supplied, I will take delta Q. That is equal to the sum of the internal energy. Okay. Increase in the internal energy of the system. Plus uh, work done by the system. Uh, delta W R W. Now here W is equal to 0. Because the gas uh, performs uh, no work. Is it not? The volume remains constant. So this is uh, equal to delta U plus uh, 0. Therefore, this is uh, delta Q is equal to change in the internal energy, delta U. 
because uh, the work done by the system is now equal to zero. Now, if you want uh, the quantity of uh, heat can also be expressed uh, in terms of uh, temperature or pressure also we can express. Uh. So this uh, whole quantity of heat, the whole quantity of heat means the how much heat is supplied to the system is utilized for only one process that is increase in the internal energy of the system. Understand? So this must also be equal to mu into Cv into delta T. Understand? Mu into, for mu moles it must be equal to mu into Cv into delta T. So this is the expression which is used for solving the MCQ sir. Okay. Now, we represent uh, the indicator diagram, pressure volume diagram, okay, pressure volume diagram for two cases. Uh. So, in this case, uh, volume is uh, remaining constant, along the x-axis I have taken the volume, in an isochoric process, volume remains constant, but pressure increases or decreases. Uh. So, first uh, let us take that uh, the pressure uh, increases. So, what do I get? Uh, it is a straight line, it is a straight line, like this. So, the pressure increases from a lower value P initial to a final value P final. So, here the pressure increases, okay. So, the pressure increases. So, the direction of arrow mark is from P initial to P final. So, next case, I will take two points like this. In the next case, I will take that the pressure decreases, okay, the pressure is uh, decreasing like this, uh, in the downward uh, direction, like this, uh, so that uh, this is the initial value, so this is the initial pressure and this is uh, the final pressure, P final, so that the pressure decreases, so in the second case, in the second case, uh, the pressure decreases, but in both the uh, cases, the volume remains constant, is it not, because it is an isochoric process, okay, the volume remains uh, constant. Okay. Now, in such a graph, a PV diagram, how to find the slope? Slope is change taking place in the y-axis, okay, divided by the corresponding changes taking place in the x-axis. But here, dv, there is no change in volume. So, what is the value of dv? dv is equal to what? 0, is it not? Therefore, this is equal to dp divided by 0 and this is equal to what? Infinity. So, the slope, the slope of this graph is now equal to what? Infinity. Similarly, here also, here also the slope, okay, slope is equal to dp by dv and this is equal to infinity, okay. So, these are the indicator diagrams corresponding to the isochoric process. Now, you can see that in this graph, p is proportional to t, is it not? p is proportional to t. So, if I draw a graph between the pressure and the temperature, as the temperature increases, the pressure also should increase, but the volume should remain constant. So, what should be the nature of uh, the graph, uh, PT graph? Since they are directly proportional to each other, this uh, graph should be a straight line passing through the origin. Suppose, if you take any two points, any two points like this, okay, and if you find the slope, so, here in this case, uh, the slope, okay, is equal to what uh, dp divided by dt, dp by dt, which is a constant, is it not? And that constant should be equal to what, uh, mu r by v, understand? So, this, uh, this ratio dp by dt must be equal to mu r divided by v and that should be equal to a constant, is it not? So, that is the slope of the pressure versus temperature graph for an isochoric process. Okay, now I draw a graph between a volume and a temperature. What happens to the volume for the system? As you increase the temperature, the volume remains constant, is it not? So, suppose at an initial temperature, the volume is V initial and at a final temperature also, the volume remains the same. So, if I join these two points, okay, so that uh, the volume remains always a uh, constant like this. So I project this point on the x-axis and call this as what the initial temperature Ti. And here I project this, uh, this is the final temperature uh, Tf. So that uh, the volume remains constant. 
and here the slope of this graph okay slope is equal to dv by dt this is equal to 0 so why the slope is equal to 0 because here the numerator is 0 is it not because the, there is no change in volume so dv must be equal to 0 therefore dv by dt is equal to 0 so these are all the different possible graphs graph type of questions will definitely meet to in competitive exams that is why we have drawn all the four graphs understand that so my dear students huh? So, what is an isochoric process? By definition, you should say isochoric process. It is a thermodynamic process in which the volume remains constant. But the other variables, okay, pressure, temperature and internal energy of the system will change. And the best example is what cooking of food in a closed container. Understand? I hope you must have understood well. Fine.